Kern Speedway for the very first stop of the LZ World Tour for 2024. And this will be the very first 2024 comp event for me and the C-SIPS Corvette. I'm super pumped to be here. We have a lot of incredible drivers that are gonna be out here with us. Zendara is gonna be here with her crew. And I've heard she has like an all-female crew, which is freaking sick and amazing. So we're gonna get to know her more over the weekend. And I'm super pumped to be here. I'm trying to be energetic even though I've had like three hours of sleep on the way here I think this is the first event that we've just decided to fly in day of and we're about to be the car in like two hours for practice so I still haven't really gotten the lay of the land yet I'm gonna walk around say hi to everybody and I'm really really pumped to be here and be back in California I don't think the C6 has ever been in California Wow, that just dawned on me right now. Like I, I'm a Cali girl, I miss California, and this is gonna be the first time that the C6 Corvette is here in Cali, so I'm stoked for a great weekend. Hopefully the rain holds out. It was showing that it was gonna be raining for like two days, but I think as of what, this morning? It said, it said it's going away, so hopefully we can enjoy this amazing California weather and get out there. The track looks amazing also. Like this track is gonna be so good for tandems, um, like it's it's just gonna be awesome. It's actually gonna be really long just doing one lap too. I think we're gonna go through a lot of tires, but let's see what's going on in the pits. Everyone's over here working on cars and I come in here and you're... I'm fixing chandeliers. We're all about aesthetics around this place, you know. Clack gotta stay looking fancy. What exactly are you doing? Well, after you drive 3,000 miles, they like to shake loose. So, just putting them back together. Where's Colette at right now? She should be on her way here. I, I hope she's on her way here. Text you in the car. Thank you. You look beautiful. This is Victoria, this is Sharice, and um, this is gonna be part of our girl gang this weekend. Let's go baby. And all the girls, we uh, planned this ahead of time. We're all pitted next to each other. Yep. So we're gonna have a very big girl gang, girl power vibes in this corner. That's right. The Dude, the vibes so. are immaculate too. These girls are not only super smart, but they are just exceptionally inviting. Girl, I, I you love too. the chandeliers and you're freaking trying Thank to you. Do you so Thanks, cool. girls. <laughs> I love how Shane was like, I was filming the guys working on the car, then I panned your trailer and it's Donnie fixing the chandelier. <laughs> I absolutely you. love that. I really hope I can make it a thing. Like, I was going to say, you're converting people already. <laughs> I just want to see a lot of people at the track now with trailer shandies. Yeah. All right, let me do a shandy game. And do a quick shandy mod yeah. and like run out. Because if they have a light there, I just used the, the wiring that was already there for the regular trailer light. Yeah. Oh and God, I took I it off and replaced it with that. So we could like go undercover and then just shandy everyone's trailers. Out. It's like it's ducking for like jeeps for like chandeliers. <laughs> <gasps> what are you? Oh, it's ruined. Oh no. no. All right, now what? Yeah. It looks it's weird better. now. Oh no, I like it. I like it Do you feel better though? It's, it's, it's if you like it, you know. I kind of feel like the whole thing needs to come off. <gasps> Adam, chill. Put the pink on, and then he gets to the track and takes it off. Yeah, rude. That was just too rude. much. Rude. He used that to get points with me, and then now look. Now points yeah, yeah, minus. <laughs> Sad day. Gotta leave. Can't watch this anymore. Basically, the lead car kind of cross in front of that line. And what we want to see is the lead car clutch kick. I don't want anybody else getting hurt, getting injured.
difference between third and fourth and put that as a gearing in fourth. So then hopefully I'll be able to stay in fourth both on lead and on chase because if I was struggling that much in the lead, there's no way I could chase someone with that high wheel speed. So I'm gonna make some changes and I'll get back out there. It seems like you need a downshift in the last corner, that's it. The second half feels fine in fourth, but going in when I'm floating and then when I try and get back on it, I'm like clutch, clutch, clutch. One of the advantages of having foot change rears, you can literally just dial the setup in depending on what track you're at. So my first few laps, my fourth gear wheel speed was way too high. I think we had it at 120 miles per hour and then my third gear wheel speed was too low at 92 miles per hour. I was just on limiter and not able to extend into the zones everywhere. So Donnie right now is changing the setup so that third gear is going to now be 110 miles per hour and ideally I can stay in third for the entire track. Another thing going into fourth, I'm off the line. It's a very short amount of time and I'm trying to go. I can start in second but then I'm going into third and fourth and we're just gonna eliminate that extra movement of having to go into fourth by having to go second, third, bam, ready to go. Um, it just lowers chances of mischiefs or mistakes off the line and makes it a lot less complicated on takeoff. So hopefully I'll do some laps with the new gearing in the rear and see how she feels. Other than that, um, the car feels amazing. Uh, the track is great. It's a really, really fun layout. It's a, it's a little tricky just extending into like the last outer. But other than that, I think once the gearing is out, it's going to feel amazing and this track is going to be sick for tandems. I'm holding you guys accountable to hold me accountable to force me to do tandems earlier on. Okay, I'm saying this on camera because I need to do tandems early. I think I focus so much on my lead lap, which to me is important, especially going into qualifying, but I need to go drive with people. So I'm giving myself a few more laps and we get the different gearing in there and then I'm going to go have some fun. <laughs>
to light off sooner? Light off. You need to trust that they're gonna move. Light off and be there. Hit your brakes. Yeah. But like, I want to turn the bias a little bit. That feels good though. The gear change is like it's perfect yeah. now. No, it sounds good. Uh, on entry, you just need, I think a little deeper still, no. and then uh, just drive through it more. Cause you like sort of flick it to angle, then you're yeah. just sort of sitting there. And then you're like waiting till you're ready to transition, then you hit the gas to transition. A, a lot of people are able to just be there with you there because you're like floating, waiting, waiting, where if you're driving through all of that. That's my biggest issue right now is I'm still not like trusting everything fully and I'm like rolling on the throttle and I'm like, this is V8 and you'd be like, blah. Yeah, you I just need to like sit everywhere, in it. you know? Sit in it everywhere. You're, I'd like to see your log of throttle percentage. When we get a dominator in here, when there's a dominator and I can just go on the laptop after and go, Davis, yeah. you ain't touch 100% throttle once. See, I, I'm cool right then now. We don't got data right now. I, Donnie, yeah, I was, I was, I was 100% <laughs> the whole time, Donnie. You just gotta take my word for it. So tomorrow, I think this is a good shakedown. I'm literally yeah. glad that I forced it's myself just... to try and chase people. Usually, I don't even do that until after qualifying, where I'm like, oh wait, we gotta compete now. Uh, so I feel really good. And tomorrow, just aggression. Tomorrow just drive with them, yeah. Aggression everywhere. Hey. Joke's on you. I just found out I'm driving. Are you? Yep. But I mean, that's not a joke. That's sick. That's great. Yeah, well, it's even better because it's going to rain uh, and I'm driving the Z. I was about to say, are you driving to Round two, baby. Ireland. Ireland round two, baby. Hey, are you about to buy another car? Like you, I also have a car problem. And that is why I wanted to introduce you to the sponsor of today's video, Car Vertical. Car Vertical is the ultimate solution for digging deep into a car's past. With data from national registries, car insurance companies, and more, Car Vertical will provide you a comprehensive report in over 25 countries. We got real photos, which is one of my favorite parts of this entire platform. They also include damage data, mileage and theft reports, title information, and so much more. Armed with all of this data, you can negotiate a better deal or walk away from a bad financial decision. You guys can use my code Colette for an exclusive 10% discount. I can't. I, I don't have a free coaster. And I don't even know how to use a free coaster. <laughs> <laughs>
this right before qualifying. I'm really still struggling with carrying more speed everywhere and then lighting off on the gas faster. Like my foot is half a second delayed almost everywhere. In order to light off sooner, I need to carry more speed everywhere as well. But other than that, I feel great. And I'm just gonna focus on my lead runs going into qualifying and we'll see what happens. Hey, what's up? So what uh, what are some tips for Colette? Colette, she's doing good. She's doing great. She just needs a little more throttle commitment. And she knows that. She knows she's gotta hit the gas a little bit more. And, and then in chase, she's just gotta light off and hit the brake. Brake and the gas at the same time and just drive it like that the whole time. The car will sing, it's fine. Yeah, Donnie. Let it, let it sing. What Donnie said. <laughs> <laughs> so right now we're about to go out for the very last practice before qualifying. Qualifying, same as all the other stops. We have two laps to get our best lap, and then the best one will count towards placement. And only, I think only top 14 is safe. Everyone else got a battle today, so we'll see. <laughs> also, shout out Stilo. This one is still, I think, technically unreleased. It's their new Venti WRX helmet. Best helmet ever. And I look so mean and menacing. Like, it's it's a total vibe. And I see way more than I've ever seen before.
it all. All right, practice is officially over. My last two leads felt sick. I'm having to like slip the clutch and be more aggressive with the, the clutch in order to get wheel speed to shoot up and then be able to like fill out every zone and be committed on the throttle. I did that my last two leads, so I just need to keep remembering that feeling. I definitely have not been driving like that before, but that, that was the trick, that was it. So I just need to stretch my old clutch foot out a little bit before I go out for qualifying. Luckily we did two laps and we'll just see how it goes. What it do, we had the LZ War Tour California at Casa Free Colette's Merch Booth. I mean, let me show you that the bangers we got over here. I mean, shit. I mean, she, we just dropped these and I was like, oh my goodness. I mean, certified bank. I mean, look at it. Beautiful. This is what she's driving today and tomorrow because she in that thing. You can't go on the website and cop a few left that we got. So, <laughs> bang. It's been a little chilly, so people been copping these up all day long. But, you know, so, so support House of Free, Colette Davis. This was so nice. Move on to Colette Davis, Colette in the Corvette C6, and of course, you can't miss it because it's the brightest car here. Looks very, very cool. She's been in some great laps in practice, yeah. looking really comfortable on the circuit. 580 horsepower, Texas Speed 440 V8 in this. And Colette takes to the track for her first run, Jacob, and uh, expect a smooth style here, I think. Yeah, Colette's been just dialing in this track over the weekend, a little hesitant to start, but able to really get to all the zones as she continued on in practice, and that is what we are starting to see here. She puts this run together. Now let's see if she can hold everything together through the transitioning section, throwing a bit more angle in. Should get back on throttle soon to get through the, wow. Wow, great job there. That that could have gone really badly. That was actually a really good run. Yeah. While, while we, you know, we could have been a little wider on the first corner, but what I loved about it was so much fluidity. There was no major lift of throttle. It was smooth the whole way around. So even though it wasn't absolutely precise, it would be very easy to chase because there was no surprises from the lead car if she was in a battle. I, I like that one a lot. Um, and I think what we're looking for as judges is sometimes you like these extreme, you know, spicy runs, but they would be a nightmare to chase because they're on big angle and breaking all over the place randomly on and off thrall. Something like that is kind of more attractive to us because we can say that someone could chase that on the door the whole way around with no issue. And Colette puts an 82 on the board. 82 for Colette there. Great run. As we move on to our last three drivers in the first half of qualifying, it's a guy that's always very reserved, never really pushes the car that much. <laughs> Next up we have Colette Davis warming up. She got a you know mid-80s score for the first one, a very smooth run, and she's been killing it all day. 
great runs. She hasn't made very many mistakes. I hate saying it because then they always make a mistake when I say it. But what I, I think she has got the confidence now to go and put a big run in here. Yeah, I Loves agree. this car. Seems to gel really well with the Corvette. And uh, definitely a car that we don't miss on track. We see every bit of it because it's that bright. Do you see the uh, chandelier in her trailer? I did. There's not one, but three. Oh, three, three chandeliers yeah. in her trailer. And uh, definitely a first. I've never seen that before. I think we need more of that. Well, Donnie was like, that's how she rolls. Yeah, like, no, I'm, we need, I'm we all need, for it. No, we need more of that. I mean, we, very, we It make, made every trailer look very boring, I Yeah, think. exactly. Like, a, a great-looking livery is one thing, but a great-looking trailer yeah. livery. I don't Interior. know if I can see you to walk into a shop and say, I need some chandeliers. And what room are you putting in? Not a room. Trailer. Here we go. Colette Davis comes off the start line. Nice pace into the first corner. Big angle. And she throws it in. That gets early to that outside white line. That is the correct line that we want to see. Early transition. Lots of pace. Just dropping a little shallow of some of those zones. Just coming off throttle and missing some of those zones. And the line was pretty solid up to that point. But she does this expertly. Look at this. Dialing the angle into that Corvette. Slows it right down. Not over committing. And another very smooth run I can see when we come to tandem action later on today she's gonna to be tough to beat making very few errors but just a little bit more precision on that run would have done a lot but hey 360 for the win at the end there you go even just the way she came across the line at the very end like lots of angles still carrying the momentum of the car and and just throughout the entire day first couple runs very hesitant and just getting into it very slowly very calculated until she gets to the point where, where she's driving like this so not the best run that we've seen from her so far but definitely a, a phenomenal run from Colette Davis. It just, yeah, it's just great to see the progression that she's made, not only today, but in the sport in general. And uh, yeah, it's, it's just been cool to, to watch her throughout the entire time. Yeah, and again, such an inspiration for so many females wanting to get into the sport yeah. that she's out here and she's ripping with everybody. And again, all smiles, all, yeah. no matter what happens, all smiles. <laughs> Watching this pacing. Well, I, I want to keep going. I thought they were waving for me to park somewhere else. I didn't realize he was fine. I took way too long to get out of the car. Hey, that was super lit. There's no fire commission on the media box. It has to be. It's pretty melted. Yeah, that's definitely not going to That's what he did for peeling off the pink. If we can flash back to that moment earlier. Oh, no. Oh. All right, now what? That's what happened, so don't peel off your pink stickers and that won't happen to you. <laughs> also, we're in the main show tomorrow. Hey, I had no idea. I tried not to get hyped about it because I was right on the line the whole time. Like someone could have easily bumped me out. But we are 13th and the cutoff is 14th. So we are in. We're probably gonna end up going against three, three or four tomorrow because last chance qualifiers will put three people from tonight's comp into battle tomorrow so i'm so pumped i did not expect to make it especially with all the incredible drivers here and now i get to like go up against some pro one drivers tomorrow so i'm really really happy and honestly i, I feel like i'm just starting to figure out the corvette like my last few lead laps in practice i'm doing different things i'm slipping my action clutch 10 inch twin disc in there i'm putting a lot of abuse on it but I'm figuring the car out, so I'm super pumped and I'm just really excited to go into comp tomorrow. And this will be the first time for a world tour that I'm just chilling and I like actually get to hang out. So uh, yeah, I'm stoked. <laughs>